that old cliche have a regular job. Now painting's been seen as a career choice. Someone says you're an artist, oh great, that's legit. Been taken 25 years, but I think I've got there. <laughs> family were into drawing and art and when I got to about 14, 15 I realised I could actually draw as well. Suddenly I'm having drawing competitions asking mum to say come on tell us to draw something and I've got two brothers over there and we're all trying to draw the same thing with a different interpretation of it so to create something from nothing was really fascinating. studio there's a lot of things going on. There's always ideas being drawn and concepts being created because it fluctuates between sculpture and painting. The stuff that inspires me like the coast and the environment. For inspiration the main thing at the moment is coming from stories that I hear about the sea. There's a theme at the moment of this thylacine standing at the bow of a boat that's floating over the ocean. That story relates to my uncle who tried to cross Bass Strait back in 1970 solo in a kayak. He was a bit eccentric. I like these sort of narratives that work under the visual impact of the painting. I want people to look at it and go, well, there's something going on here. There's a story being told. So I want to engage people in that space between reality and abstraction. Basically this whole Advantage Road thing started from a nice little underground movement of artists who are working here. I think creative people, we need that space in which we can just sort of work peacefully and calmly. It's quite a, quite a great little street.